Shiro and the Hand. Once upon a time, there was a peaceful village called Black Horse Village. In the village, there was a boy called Shiro. He was an ignorant boy who almost never listened. He was also a troublemaker and a professional liar. In the east of the village, there was a forbidden area called White Horse. It is said that at night, people hear a crunching sound. People think it is the sound of a monster eating human bones. One day, Shiro was taught about White Horse and how it was a forbidden place. As usual, he didn't listen and so he checked out the entrance. He was very curious, so he went in! Inside was a magical area full of beautiful trees and magical animals. While Shiro was enjoying the sight, he didn't realize a shadow covering him. The shadow turned out to be a giant hand and caught Shiro. Holy cheesecake! cried Shiro in surprise and horror. Shiro was brought to the hand's house. The hand put the screaming boy into a room. Inside the room, Shiro met an elf called Pixel. It was a boy. Inside the prison, Shiro and Pixel came up with a pack. When the hand was hanging outside the room, Pixel told the hand that if he let them out, they would work for him. As soon as the hand opened the door, the pair leapt out and ran out of the house. The hand chased them around White Horse until it cornered our heroes. He was about to kill them when? Shiro and Pixel. The hand stopped. Maybe you don't kill us, we can let you stay in the village instead of that ugly old house, offered Shiro. The hand nodded. Soon, the hand was a good member of Black Horse Village. To show respect, the hand did hard jobs in the village, such as tree chopping because of his strength. He did everything easily. Meanwhile, Shiro, who had learned his lesson, was now a sensible boy who always listened. And so everyone in Black Horse Village lived happily ever after.